Do you ever find that apps are downloading at the worst time possible on your phone, taking up space, slowing things down? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to stop app downloads on an Android device. Also, I'm gonna show you how to stop apps from downloading files in the background. And then lastly, how to prevent automatic app downloads and updates if you don't want them to happen when you're least expecting it. So to stop an app from downloading, if you clicked on it by accident maybe, you started downloading it and changed your mind or you realized, I really don't need this app after all. I'll show you how to do that, just right on the Google Play Store first. So let's say you wanna install TikTok on your phone. So you click the install button. You're like, yeah, maybe I need this. And you're thinking, ah, I'm gonna waste a lot of time. I probably don't need this. Easiest option is just click the cancel button right there. So I just canceled it. Um, so maybe later in the day, you're all, no, I really do want this. I'm gonna try again. You click install. Another option you can do is you can click on your image up top, manage apps on device, and then updates available. And you'll see TikTok is downloading. I can just click the X right there. So I just stopped it. If for some reason you want to get rid of the app, you can obviously open it, uninstall it. Um, but that's just the first thing you can do if you click install and you want to stop it mid process before it's finished. So now I'll show you how to restrict the downloads of files from apps on your phone when you're not intending that to happen, you don't want that data being used up or you don't want to download that in the background. So you go to your settings on your phone, click on the gear icon at the bottom here, and then click on apps. And the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna to go to the app that you wanna restrict permissions for. Um, so let's click on one of these apps, click on the permissions button there. And the most common things that these apps download are photos and videos, especially from games, things like that. So you might not want that to happen in the background. So you could click on photos and videos. You'll see that all the apps are a little bit different there in the permissions. So you could click always allow this if you're fine with it happening, allow limited access or don't allow. Those are your options on this one. I have mine set to don't allow. Now I'm going to show you how to stop automatic downloads and updates of apps from the Google Play Store. On this, you click on the Google Play Store app. You click on your profile picture up in the top right. And then you're going to go to your settings within the Google Play Store. And on there, you go to Network Preferences. So this one, your options that it shows you here are App Download Preference, Auto Update Apps Preference, or Auto Play Videos. So we're going to click on Auto Update Apps. And on here, your options are to update the apps over Wi-Fi or mobile data. And then another option, which I have selected on mine currently, is update with limited amount of mobile data. So this is, you know, whether Wi-Fi is available or not. It'll update a few of the apps. It kind of has a, a link to more information if you want to know about that. It's probably some of the apps that you use the most. Or you can just click update over Wi-Fi only or don't auto update apps at all if you don't want to do that. So I have mine on the limited amount of mobile data option, but if I wanted to switch it to Wi-Fi only, I could just click on that. Um, or if I wanted to just update those automatically whenever over data or Wi-Fi, just click on the top option. I'm gonna leave mine on that middle option right there with the limited one, because it seems to be working fine for me right now. Another option is to be notified every time there's an update and then pick your preference for that particular instance. To do that, you're going back into your settings, you click on App Download Preference, and then you can select over any network, so this is Wi-Fi or data, over Wi-Fi only, or ask every time. So this would mean every time there's an update for your app, your phone would prompt and ask you so you can decide individually. So it's whatever you prefer there. I'll put Wi-Fi only on there however you want to do it. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We'll see you again soon.